Okay, the real slim Chuck Norris. Here we go. Yeah. From Portugal. That was a five minute game though. But we got time. What do you want? That guy always crushes me. I think I will have you avenge my okay. lost honor to the real slim Chuck Norris. Yeah, then I'm gonna play some serious stuff. <laughs> yeah, nobody believed that. Okay, I I'm gonna try it again, but this time I'm not gonna play Rook G2. I promise that. If we get the same position, Rook G2 is not gonna happen. I mean, I play the Rat usually, so I don't think this can consider to be be considered to be that much worse. Speaking of Anish, you will now have to spend four hours on this G5 move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Poor, poor Anish. He is... Gonna have a torrid time. Okay. I assume this has to be the point. <laughs> you assume <laughs> the geniuses that invented G5 <laughs> thought after D3 we yeah. gotta go check that's our point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, but can you from the bottom of your heart say that this is the worst that you've ever seen? Nope. Nope. It's, it's very hard to say that most of the times, but no, it's certainly not the worst yeah. ever. Exactly. Should I take? No, I don't want to take. Bishop g4 was a bit too fancy. Oh wow. well, that is sorry to say, one of the dumbest moves I ever seen. Like he doesn't, he doesn't. <laughs> it's not, I mean, not I, really taking it. I'm not sure it's a bad move, but it's definitely a dumb move in the sense that you're not attacking anything. Uh, what should I do? We got. G7 maybe. Please that low. pronounces he's not attacking anything. Yeah. That is true. The problem is bishop d2, then all of a sudden he attacks it twice. <laughs> yeah. Now he attack he does still doesn't attack it. But I still feel like cash in. B4. And I gotta say, I simply like the black position. Like, we got slightly weak king, but two beautiful bishops. Good knight on d5. White has weak pawns. Like, if you had to choose a side here, would you take black? In a practical game, yeah. Um, probably in classical, I would take white. But in a uh, faster game, I would definitely take black. Because also with white, you're stuck with the fact that this was the most you managed to get against, uh, um, against g5. Which is, uh, I think, a factor that shouldn't be underestimated. So you think the real slim Chuck Norris is currently kicking himself for not punishing g5 harder? Or maybe he's just happy to um, to be playing in Banter Blitz, who knows. Okay, so this was uh, was really dumb, like obviously I cannot take on h3, uh, he has, he's gonna get too much compensation there, so. Yeah, h6 was quite pointless, just rerouting his knight to a better square and weakening my king at the same time. When you do two things that damage your position on the, at the same time, it's usually a bad sign. But on that topic, I have a question. Are you the origin, or at least, 
I think Peter Heine pointed me towards the saying, feeding two birds with one scone, because killing two birds with one stone is a really violent saying. <clears throat> so basically, uh, um, Peter has been has been working uh, with on this. Peter as in animal rights, not as in Heine. Not, not, not in uh, fucked up. Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, pronunciation of Peter's name. Yeah. Um, no, exactly. So um, um, they uh, they uh, they are obviously against animal cruelty, and you have to say feeding, uh, killing bird, two birds with one stone. That is when you think about it, it's a pretty messed up saying. It is absolutely <laughs> messed up. Like it's it's a bit like saying a th stones throw away. Like who who are you throwing these stones at? Like. Stop throwing stones. This is a civilized world. Uh, so now they want us to say feeding two birds with one scone instead. And I can do nothing but um, comment this particular in initiative. I think uh, we should all take a minute and uh, think about it. Okay. Can you win some material somehow? Yeah, I should be able to win material here. So if we go back, um, this whole knight g4, f5, uh, f5 just feels like a move that's screaming out to be played. Like uh, the knight is kind of trapped on h6, and it feels like black has such good centralization that it should be um, should be good for me. Um, so we got some lines here. Uh, I'm, think, three? What I'm thinking of knight e3 takes knight f4. Then take on h6, rook e3, rook d4, he takes on c5, then takes on e7. Looks, yeah, it looks like just way too much compensation. So we gotta do something else. But what? Um, I, uh, or maybe there is nothing better, but it feels like to try and uh, keep a bit more control than that. There's bishop f2. I feel like still is going to play knight f4. If you go bishop e3? He's still going to take on the knight f4. Or knight f4 immediately. Oh no, then I'm knight That I'm, was my point. Yeah, then I'm knight f4. So the line now is bishop e3, knight e3, knight f4, take on c4, take on g6, take on g6 bc or dc king h7 trap the knight and now with that we got the queens off hoping that uh, these pawns on d f on b4 and c5 are going to be a huge asset in the in the ending as well as the extra bishop obviously he has got queen h4 did you see that nope no neither did i queen h4 is probably not so great news so we've got to take on c1 Rook d6. And then now the knight. Why? Why am I doing this? That is so dumb. Yeah, I completely missed that one. I could just go on rook f6. That would have at least trapped the knight. What should I do now? Yeah, now, now it's trouble. It's yeah, low on time. Now I'm completely lost. Gotta switch to to flagging mode. Yep. As it usually goes. Oh, now he's got queen sound. Or this. Just trying to survive another day. Optimistic now. That was stupid. Okay, he's getting nervous. I can feel it. So close. Here we go. No. 
No, it has perpetual. Fuck. Ah. Yeah, okay. Good game. That was disappointing. <clears throat> Kind of deserved over the course of the game, but I thought you had him like. <laughs> yeah, I just thought I had him too.